Let me see if Bobby's out of the out of the um shower. Let me see if I can get her in here for a minute. Calm down, calm down. So now Hey, Bobby. Bobby just, she's in my studio. Come on, move closer. You're my studio girl. So, how was your day? It was good. It was mm -hmm. good. Well, I'm not going to keep you long. You have homework and stuff to do? You, you got homework? I have a project on Friday. So, it's going to be another late night for you? No, it'll be late night tomorrow. You tired? Yeah, very I was knocked out yesterday, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. I think I want to go to bed early and just work on it at school tomorrow because it's due like day after tomorrow. Okay. Well, Bobby, do you remember the elephant? I was thinking about getting an elephant in the story. I told you about the elephant, right? Mm -hmm. So, and the keychain and stuff, right? So, I think I want to get an elephant. Where do you think I should get the elephant? You're just going to continue it on? Yeah, I want to eventually you know have a little sleeve going on mm -hmm. i've always wanted a sleeve so what do you think i don't want to put it here no do it on the top where how big do you want it i don't know mm, i feel like that's like you should ask um the tattoo guy i feel like he would know like the best i feel like and i and i have a scar here i don't want to cover up my scar my scar because that's part of my history you know what happened with the scar mm -mm. yeah this boy was chasing me when i was younger playing around and in brooklyn and my there was a fence and he was chasing me and my arm scraped against the fence and it was a big gash but anyway i wanted to bring you here because i have some for you What is this? Got you something. <laughs> Aww. Got me a little elephant keychain. So it's your first. And a little bee on it. <laughs> it's your first keychain, elephant keychain. Yours. Just like mine. Just like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, she's cute. I wish I did. I wish she was bigger, but that's your first one. Yeah, she's cute. Aww. Where are my keys? Not the basketball one. Well, I guess you could have a whole bunch of them. This one, my name. Bobby is. with the E. Yeah. Ooh, you should see my other friends. Everybody's is spelled wrong. They, her name is Christiana, and it's like Chris Anna. It's really bad. Hers is pretty bad. Was her blanket messed up too? No, her blanket was right. Oh, okay. thank God. But they give us a bunch of cute stuff. But this is so cute. Aww. Yeah, I don't think Sydney, and I feel bad because I don't think Sydney knows the story or. I don't, I don't, I just don't think it will, she, this is so cute. yeah, but we have one for Cindy, and you know, I'm going to, she's in the shower. What is Cindy's? Same, but Cindy has an S. These are so cute. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay, so now we all have messy little elephant So now you can pass the tradition down to your children. The trunk is up. The trunk is up. That's right. I love it. I love it. Yay. Mm -hmm. Warm. Had a nice shower. Yeah. And my sister used to do this to me. She used to pinch my cheeks with her fingers. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh, my cute. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna put my basketball on. Huh? I'm probably not gonna put my basketball one on there. But she takes the cake. 
for my favorite gift today. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. Bobby has a birthday coming up. She thinks she's gonna be glad. <laughs> um, and well, big 18, she can't tell me nothing. She can't tell me nothing. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but Big 18. <laughs> very excited. February 1st, so it's like two weeks. Oh, is it two weeks? I think it's like two weeks. No, it's not. Today is the six. Three weeks. I think it's three. Three. Because it was like, but the, by the end of this week. Then you have three weeks. I guess. I guess. Don't be but sure. I, I think it I feel like it's two like it's two full weeks okay 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 there's seven days in a week today is the sixth January goes up to the 31st okay okay, okay. all right y'all give this video a thumbs up I'll see I city city can be difficult sometimes sometimes <laughs> But she'll get her keychain. She not gonna come in here. I'm tired. No, no, mom. I'm a nice little setup. Doesn't let it, let her know what you think of the setup in the comments. Yeah, it needs some. It needs more stuff. If you have any ideas, leave it in the comment section below. So she's too young for that question. Well, I guess they had their question. What was the best phase of your life and what was the worst phase of your life i guess for younger people that maybe are you should be living the best phase of your life right now you but so? I, for this time your friends your basketball high school yeah. high school meant the world to me it was the world and when i left high school it was a trigger that's that that was my trigger where i started to decline Mm -hmm. I feel like, I don't know, because I really, I don't know, I like where I'm at right now. Like, my basketball people, like. But you're about to make brand new friends, and it's going to be wonderful. I'm so worried, because I'm so, like, I'm so stuck, you know, with my people. I, like, I feel like it's going to be hard to, like, top those people that I'm with now. That's what you think now. Yeah, and I always think that. Every single year, every single year, I'm like, there's no way my basketball team, yeah. but there's no way my year's going to be as good as it was this year. And every year, it's always better. It's always better. But every year, I'm like, there's no way it'll be better than this. I'm never going to have a team like this again. I'm she says that all the time. Every single year, I said that for sure. But this has been one of my favorite years, despite the circumstances. Yeah. I don't know what my favorite year has been, honestly. But you had some good... You felt that way when you left um, your junior high school. Mm -hmm. You loved yeah. your team then, too. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. So every year, it just keeps getting better and better. So just think, the best is yet to come. Yeah, that's true. We'll see, though. Mm -hmm. We'll see. And just soak up every moment. Just soak it up. Because, honey, when you got to pay bills and have it, right. that doesn't mean your life is going to be over. You may have a wonderful, wonderful husband. You both have amazing careers. And, you know, money is flowing. Maybe financial won't be a problem and please never be in a relationship where you're unhappy and someone's abusing you you have your life together have you a little nest on the side my mama always told me the left hand does not always need to know what the right is doing and sometimes honey you it may come to a situation where you got to pick up your purse and walk out the door and never go back and you always want to have that option and not feel like you're stuck in a place that's not healthy. Always have your own or a way out. Mm -hmm. And it's never the end 
life will go on, life will get better. Don't think that's the only person you gotta be with. And settle. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm gotta be strong. There's more fish in the sea. Next, call up. Mm -hmm. So you get your edu education, have your little coins, and be able to pick up and go. What I did with your father, I didn't have no coins. I had my education. I had my brains and my smarts. I just felt stuck for years. And all of you were small. I was in a new state. I didn't really know anybody, no family around. So ooh, I just felt stuck. So I endured until I could no longer endure. But I have no regrets whatsoever. Because I feel as though all of my experiences have made me the warrior that I am. So hopefully my energy and my life and my lessons have spill into you and you know your worth. Know your worth. Mm-hmm. It's about knowing your worth. That's right. And know how you should be treated. And don't feel like you have to have a man. No, you can do things on your own too. I don't need you to do it. But if you happen to have one who worships you and loves you and stuff, good. But don't don't feel like you got to, mm, I can't live without a man. A lot of women do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And who knows what life holds, but, you know, my mom didn't have these chit-chats with me. She, I had to learn on my own. She allowed me a lot of freedom, and I had to learn. She allowed me to make my mistakes, and if I needed her, she was there, but she didn't really give too much of her opinion. Mm -mm. All right, guys, this is getting long, so <laughs> make sure you answer. Do you have a worst phase of your life? Not yet. I don't think. I don't think, you know, maybe I feel like I have, but I don't think so. I don't think I've, you know, ever been just downright, you know, <laughs> just feeling bad. I don't think so. Good, because I'm like, what you done been through? Yeah, not yet. I don't think so. I'm only 17, still young. So, good, good. And there are a lot of young people that feel like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders. And some of them do. But I think a teenager should be allowed to be a teenager. Right. A kid should be allowed to be a kid. Mm -hmm. Because you have the rest of your life to be an adult. So I'm glad that you feel as though you haven't had a worse phase of your life. And I feel as though I try my best to protect you guys from a lot of the hardships of life. Because a lot of stuff I never told the kids. I remember when we didn't have lights, our lights were cut off. And I was like, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game, guys. We're not going to turn the lights on. We're going to play in the dark. It's going to be so much fun. They was like, ah, okay. You don't remember, but I, that's what I said. <laughs> Huh? I don't remember mm -hmm. that. So a lot of stuff I just never told you guys. You didn't know that I had to go to a food pantry. You didn't know that I had me a um, food card. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just like, that's a big thing. Like, a lot of people, like, I think that was like, I know that had to be hard. Like, mm -hmm. you, like, keeping that all from us. We're all, like, you know, delusional, like, and like not delusional but just like I don't know how to say it but you're just like rightfully like hiding that from us and it's like some parents won't they put the burden of whatever they're going through on their kids too no, not when you guys were young now I may be a little more verbal but not when you were younger it, it, it was nothing you can do I remember and I'll never forget this moment. And then I'm going to go after that. Because you know I can talk, y'all. Uh, it was right after the, the domestic violence. And I took the kids to McDonald's. It was so fresh. That McDonald's was our hangout. <laughs> and I took the kids to a McDonald's. 
and you guys were playing and I think I, I was sitting by myself. It, it, it feels like it was yesterday. And I was sitting down and you guys were playing and it could have been maybe the day after or two days after it happened, your dad went to, went to prison. And I just was thinking, what am I going to do? I have these three kids and I just started crying. I could not control it. And I don't like, I didn't let my kids see me cry. And I just started crying. And Clinton saw me and I'm just trying to get it together. And he saw me and he didn't know how to react. So he saw me, he turned around to get some napkins and he came back and he started wiping my face. I got something for you, Cindy. Oh, she got your bonnet on? Gloria got me this for Christmas. I guess it too. Well, let me finish my thought. I have something for you. Okay. And he just started wiping my face with the tissue. And there was a lady who was watching. She watched the whole thing and she was like, mm -hmm. and he just started wiping my face. And he didn't say anything. He just was wiping in my tears and stuff. Oh my God. You mm -hmm. win. Clinton. Well, Sydney, you don't listen to my story, but I got you something. I don't know if you know the story of my mom and the elef my elephant keychain and how, you know, I just have a thing for elephants, right? So I got you something. So cute. It has an S on it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Are we matching? It can't be. So it's you girls have your first elephant keychain. And so maybe you'll pass the tradition on to your children when they get of age to give them their elephant keychain. But you do remember the my elephant keychain? Yeah, it's still on it. Mm hmm I still have it. It's getting so dry. Yeah, so that's that's so cute. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Good night. Good night. Yeah, so you know, and you and Sydney were playing oblivious to everything. They didn't know. They probably don't even they don't even remember that that evening. I remember all three of you in my bedroom crying, and then the officer said, you want to go check on them? All three of you in the room crying in my bedroom. I remember that. I think I remember that. Not vividly, but I do remember it. Mm -hmm. And then I went in there and hugged all three of them. Mm -hmm. I remember. It's been a, It's been a journey. All right, y'all, we'll stay on here and talk to you. Well, I will stay on here and talk to you forever. Thank you so much for if you made it to this part of the video and you hung in there with me, thank you. Or maybe I'll split it into two, do my clothing haul, make it a part two so it's not too long. Give you a little bit here, a little bit there so you don't click off. <laughs> All right, guys, stay strong. Keep your head up. Keep fighting. Keep surviving. Because we're not giving up. You're going to keep doing what it do. Give this video a thumbs up or not. Until next time. Later. Don't lose your keychain. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to put my keys right now. She's cute. I need to do my video notes. Huh? I need to do my video notes. What, you gotta do some notes? Yeah. Cause she closes them. I don't know why she does that now. She Maybe she on that three day late policy. Yeah, it's like, cause kids will like save the video notes for like the very end of the unit. Uh huh. And she doesn't want us doing that anymore. But I'm like in person. It's like so stupid. So I actually need to do it.
but I could just like not do it and get it from somebody else but I'm so tired how long will it take you it's like it's really short like it's really short like it'll probably take like 10 minutes oh so knock it out the park probably take like 10 minutes because I just need to type some stuff out Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I was in a bit. Ten minutes. You got ten minutes. Ooh, baby. Is your foot sore? My ankles yeah. sore a little bit. Yeah. And my feet hurt. My ankles. You want your little baggy? No. No. Okay. I'm putting on my kitchen. All right. Bye bye. Goodbye. Night night. What are you gonna put the I'll probably do it this weekend.